Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this transparent text box in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it looks a little something like this. You just have the transparent text in the middle surrounded by a text box of your color. I lowered the opacity just slightly so it's a little bit see-through, makes it look kind of neat. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is as always, create ourselves a new sequence or go from a sequence that you've been working on. You wanna then drag in your footage. So in this case, I'm gonna drag in the footage that we used last time. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. We're gonna create about a box and then some text to go in the box. So let's go ahead and create the box first. Um, you can use any color you want. For this, we can like fill a color uh, from the scene. So maybe let's try a darker sort of appearance. So maybe let's go with this dark sort of gray here that's in that house right there. So now we got this gray look going. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna now create a text layer, but we do not want the text layer to be on the exact same layer as this. So we want to deselect and then make sure that we select somewhere else and make sure that it actually creates a new layer instead of just adding it as a sort of additional layer onto this one. Then we wanna type in our text. So in this situation, we'll go Japan 2018 and we'll just go straight across like so. Um, later on in the video, I'll show you how to do what I did in this first one, which is how to create like this line and stuff in there. But right now, let's just get through the meat of the effect. So now we have our text, we have our box, and then we have our footage. So let's zoom in in our timeline down here and let's take a look at this. We need to do something um, that we've been doing in a couple of previous tutorials and that is use a track mat key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this track mat key, we're gonna drag it onto our footage. We're then going to go into the track mat, so dragged onto the footage, click on this, go up to effect controls, down to track mat key, and the mat is going to be video three. And then we wanna go ahead and just hide this layer for a second. And now you can see what we have in here is the sort of the quote unquote transparent part. So this is now the text and it's transparent. The problem is, is we just have a block uh, that doesn't actually have it and then the background is black. And that's because our ordering is just a little bit different. So what we told the bottom layer to do was to look at this layer and it was going to basically create a mask based on this layer. So that means that this is now only this text and that this layer is actually above the text now because this is what this now doesn't show anything this is what shows everything so you kind of got to wrap your head around that just a little bit but the way to fix that is really simple all we're going to do is we need to drag ourselves up another layer right like so um, and then if we do that, we need to also set this back to the layer that it's on you'll see it does that then we need to go ahead and drag this one up here and then keep the graphic beneath it like so. So now the graphic is below it so that it'll cut through right here. And then we need to re-add another one in here. So we can copy and paste this one down here. If you hold the Alt key and drag down, it'll duplicate it. Click on this bottom one and remove the track mat key. So now the background is actually just the, um, is this sort of piece right here. Uh, if you hide everything above it, it's just a normal piece of footage. Then we added in our box right here. And then now what we have uh, on top of that is another just piece of footage. And then we tell it, hey, only uh, create a cut out of the text. So then we have the text coming in right here. And then it allows everything to propagate downwards. And I don't actually like that color on that graphic. So it's really easy. Let's just switch it back to the white because I think the white looks the best right here. And so now we have the effect. We have our transparent text just like so. A little more complicated than it might be in something like After Effects, but still not too bad. Now let me show you how I did exactly on the first one where I put this line through it. What you can do is you can actually sort of just mess around with the uh, text settings. So what I wanna do is I want to create a uh, click enter right here and you'll see that these are already really close together and that's because I was messing around with them earlier. So normally they're somewhere around maybe like right here as the normal break between them. And so what I did was I created another layer in between these and I created a bunch of lines here. And now you'll see what we have is this really long sort of thing. We don't want that, we want them to come together. So if we select all of them right here, we can click on this where it has the little two A arrows um, right here, the leading, and we can grab it and actually bring it together right like so. And we can of course center it as well, that'll make it look a little better. And so now we have the beginnings of this looking good, but these still have spaces in it. So what we can do is actually go down to this line and I just highlight all of these and go to this one right here, which is tracking. And that's just the distance between each letter. We can bring this down and you'll see that it actually creates a line right here. And now we have the line like before. Um, I just did a little bit different settings on that one. Uh, and I believe instead of making these all like bold, I made these regular. 
and then brought this back down a little bit. And you'll see now it makes that sort of thinner line right there. And so that's a really simple way to create a line. Uh, this text is a little bigger and a little wider. But overall, that is how you do it. Just a little sort of hack I wanted to throw in there to show you guys that. Anyway, that is the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.